bringing the two together, the engineering of a frame and the creation of the art glass that goes with it, are the key. We've been doing this now for, for so long and we've done so many of these that, that we, we have it down. So stained glass goes way beyond just windows and doors. And uh, here at Highland Studio, we, over the last few years, have started doing a lot of domes and skylights and glass ceilings. And uh, we love doing them because uh, we can be so creative with them. You know, we have so many different ways that we can design these. It all really comes down to what that particular home and homeowner and their architect and builder would like to see. The process really starts from seeing the location and determining what we're going to be doing. Right? If we're going to a home where there's already an opening there where they would like to have a lay light, generally that's fairly simple and we just get some measurements and, and determine how we're going to build it so that it fits that opening. But in a lot of cases, we're talking about new construction, and uh, we need to then meet with the builder so that he frames out that area correctly so that our dome or frame can be attached securely uh, in that location. At that point, we now know what our frame is going to look like, right? Or at least what size it's going to be. We can then, from that point, start designing the actual frame with the glass design in the back of our mind the whole time. So we don't want to necessarily start off first thinking about our glass design, even though we may already have ideas. We can't really do that glass design until we determine, okay, how are we going to make this, this dome frame work? So as you can see here, we broke this up into two panels, uh, plus there's obviously a, another panel on top. And we did that because uh, this dome is quite large and we don't want any one panel to be so big that uh, it eventually would start to sag or bow or that we have to make each panel uh, strong enough to last for the next hundred years. So the way that we get the, the shape for a dome panel so that it fits in the dome and makes that curve that we need to make is uh, we build a wooden form that replicates that opening in the dome. Get the exact shape and size of that opening and we build a form. And then we simply build the panel on the form. The reason that you won't see a dome panel like this with one long piece of glass because you don't want one long flat piece of glass then you don't get the curve so we get the curve by having smaller pieces of glass you know divided by lead so we can just bend the whole thing so you got the frame you've got the lead then you've got a steel bar for bracing, for brace bar, another steel bar. We've still got lead throughout going, building, holding this whole thing together. And then we've got the frame again, right? So all that together is going to hold this thing together quite nicely, securely. The glass is not going to go anywhere. The frame itself is extremely strong and will last for a very long time with no problem, right? We can do really just about any kind of glass design that you can think of, whether it's for a dome or just a skylight, either one. This is, if you want to get us excited, call us and say, hey, we're thinking about putting a dome in our house. <laughs> and we get excited about it because uh, nothing really brings the glass and the light together quite as well as a dome or a ceiling or a skylight because the sun is up there and you're looking up you know and even with even with artificial lighting you still get that impression 
that you're looking up into into the light, you know. So we love doing them. We love doing them, absolutely. It's our favorite thing.